believing you're so smart, but by believing God is so smart because God knows what's best for you. And the most ironic part of this whole deal that I'm sharing with you this morning, Solomon, who writes these profound words that are truth, the most ironic part of this whole deal is that as wise and powerful and rich as Solomon is, there was an area in his life where he didn't believe that God knew what was best for him, and it not only ruined him, it ruined an entire nation. Well, first Kings chapter 11, you don't have to turn there because I'm going to put it on the screen for you this morning. I'm going to zip through. By the way, read First Kings. What a book. Amazing. Um, First Kings 11. God had given Israel hundreds of laws. The most famous laws that God gave Israel were what? The Ten Commandments. Thank you. I think you guys are smart. Uh, but in addition to the Ten Commandments, God gave Israel hundreds of laws to follow. There were experts in laws that could remind everybody when they were breaking them and stuff like that. But one of the strange laws, and there were strange ones, one of the strange laws that God gave the nation of Israel was that the men were not allowed to marry women from other nations and from other countries. And quite simply, that would be like God saying to Filipinos, you can only marry Filipinos. That's what God was saying back then to the nation of Israel. Um, and so the nation of Israel, the, the Israeli men said to God, said, what's up with that? Like, why? What's the problem? And, and God said back to them, he said, you know, I'm telling you this because I know what will happen is that when you marry women of other cultures and other nations, they will bring their false gods into your backyard and you will turn away from me and you will worship these fake gods. And so the men of Israel, they said, oh, that makes sense. You've given us the why behind the what. So now we will follow what you have said is best for us. No problem. But years later, generations after the law, has been presented. You have Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived. And he thinks about marrying women from other countries. Well, he says, it's probably a good rule for the average person. But that law is ancient. And besides, it was given to Israel before there were kings. Before there were guys like me. Things have changed. These are modern times. These modern women from other countries got it going on. You know, have you seen some of these women? Woo! And, and besides, it's what kings do to keep the peace. If I marry women from other countries, then other countries will not attack our country and will maintain peace. I am Solomon the wise. God spoke to me as a kid. King David was my dad. I have so much theological training. I would never allow a foreign woman to bring a false god into my backyard to change my belief system. That rule may have worked a long time ago, but I know better than God, and that rule doesn't apply to me. So Solomon and his tents to maintain peace and not go to war marries all these king's daughters, thinking it's a better thing to ignore God's wisdom in this case, because he is the exception to the rule. Why is old King Solomon leaned on his own understanding and married a lot of women, a lot of foreign women, because that's what kings do. So Solomon goes against God because he knows what's best. I smell trouble. Um, here's, here's what happened. King Solomon loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter, Moabites, Amorites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites. Quick aside here for the guys. Guys, don't you think Solomon is crazy? I mean, don't we have enough trouble keeping one woman happy? Let alone hundreds? <laughs> guys, I want you to picture for a second. In your mind, taking 30 wives shopping to pull apart. 
and waiting outside of the change rooms for 30 women and having to tell them that each of them doesn't look fat in that outfit. Oh my goodness. What is it thinking? Um, they were from nations about which the Lord had told them, you must not intermarry because they will turn your heart after their gods.